What's up guys? Back again with another video. How is everybody doing on this fine Monday morning, tax day? If you haven't done your taxes yet, you better get down to TurboTax. <laughs> So what's happening everybody? Today I'm going to go for a little cruise here. I re finally reset my clock on my Vespa so it will be right back with the time change. It's got us a beautiful day in Kansas City. We got, uh, it's going to get up to 83, 84 degrees today and uh, partly cloudy. Not too hot yet. I got out a little early. I didn't have much going on this morning, so it was time to get out here and see the road. This is a busy little intersection that's by our uh, house on this little country highway here. It can get pretty hazardous. There's a pretty good number of accidents that have happened here over the years. A lot of people don't get stopped there. Going uh, And then this highway, which is 291, runs into them. So, yeah, got to be careful. And this kind of a blind turn both directions unless you get pulled up far enough. Well, weather has been really, really good here the last uh, four or five days. We've been high 70s, mid 80s yesterday. Had to turn the AC on yesterday afternoon for the first time. It's crazy here. We go from running the heater two weeks ago to turn on the AC. So I guess that was our little amount of mild spring. Now we're already busting out into summer. Isn't that just the way it works? So what's everybody been up to? Y'all getting out and riding your Vespas or... I saw about, uh, let's see, my I put a poll up the other day that asked my viewers what they, uh, what they rode. And I think uh, it was 75% Vespas. And I think the other 25% basically uh, non Harley motorcycles. So that was mostly, that's just a roundabout number, it's not exact. But I thought that was interesting. Most of my viewers are Vespa riders, that's a good thing. Next time I'll put I'll put it. Next time I put a poll up, I'm going to put on uh, which model of Vespa do you own. The bad thing is about uh, YouTube polls is you only have four options. Uh, it's not like the Facebook poll where you can put on, you know, you can let people add whatever their model is to, as a poll option. So YouTube's kind of restrictive there, but it was just kind of fun to see.
I am feeling fabulous. 100%. Nice to finally be feeling good again. Moral of that story is I've just got to watch what I eat. I've got to cut out my sugar, not eat desserts. I just feel so much better when I haven't eaten a bunch of carbs. Pretty good win there today. Way. I really don't know where it goes. Right there. Thinking I might have taken it once. I had to wear my uh, hot weather jacket today so I can get some serious venting in this sucker. We had a nice weekend here. We went to church in the morning and then afternoon we did our shopping and went and picked up our daughter from a sleepover. Then we uh, went to a nursery. My wife picked up a few new uh, jalapeno and pepper plants and uh, she's struggling to get them up. They're, they're, I, I can't tell if they're getting heat stressed or, it, you know, I know we're watering them every day and it's, it's, it's been hard to keep them alive, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to head down here to the uh, corner of Liberty and turn in and show you guys my church. This highway is kind of busy today. Not usually that many, not, not usually that much traffic. little trailer park here on the right don't want to be driving here during tornado season I think those are magnets for uh, tornadoes so this is all actually still Kansas City even up here when we first get into Liberty is Kansas City you got to go well into the city limits of Liberty to actually get to where you're in the city limits. It's kind of odd. I know the people that live here on this side of Liberty still pay our Kansas City wage earners tax, 1%, that we renewed on a vote not too terribly long. I think last year. 
they threatened us that uh, you know it that one percent we won't have any po enough police officers if we don't keep that one percent tax so voters reapproved it and now here we're stuck with the wage earners tax here for another couple of years you'd think what we pay with uh, property tax would cover some of that but I guess not. I guess the property tax just goes to the school, and I don't know. It doesn't seem like. I'm not sure if it goes to fixing some of the roads or not, but potholes are another story. I know people been on that all year. Please get our potholes fixed. Yeah, this is my Rucka uh, summer jacket. So it's well armored, it has uh, level two armor, has lots of vents. Definitely my best warm weather jacket. It is very protective. And it's letting some pretty decent air in here too since it's at 80 degrees. It's uh, a little bit warm for wearing a jacket. Normally I'd be, you know, t-shirt and shorts one, you know, a hundred times out of a hundred, but when I'm riding, I like to at least keep, you know, gotta keep some abrasion resistance on there. You never know when you're gonna have your little accident. And, you know, maybe big accident. Doesn't take a very big accident with, uh, on this Vespa, you know, to sliding down the road won't feel too good on your skin, so gotta wear some protection. That wind is strong. I think it's only about 10 to 15 mile an hour. Just gusty a little bit, I guess. a nice little area here a lot of little strip malls we got quick trip there this is my church over here on the right turn in here this is my church over here this is Pleasant Valley Baptist I've never rode over here I thought I'd cruise down here today and See what's going on in the church. Looks like they got some, some going on. They got some cars here anyway. Yeah, Pleasant Valley Baptist Church right here. It's been a great church home to us. Got a construction project going back here in the back. They redid all the kids' areas back here where they have a really strong youth program for uh, any any age. I'm pretty sure from pre-kindergarten up to seniors in high school. So yeah, this area back here is all the kids' classes and stuff. Been a great church though. We love it here. This is the front up here. And they got something going on. Must have some sort of a little conference or something. But that's my church. I thought I'd drive by there, show that to you guys. Must have wanted to take that country highway over here. I've never taken taken the Vespa over here to Liberty, so 
Somebody's got a bike sitting there. Wonder who that is. It must be one of the pastors. He's got it parked off to the side. That is the Baptist Church. Not too far. It's about oh, seven, eight miles over here. We come over here a lot. There's uh, tons of restaurants in these strip malls here. There's a sandwich place called Capriati's right back here on the right, over here, down there. And there's a hardware store in there that I come over to pretty often. Not a bad area. Pretty busy. On school days after school gets out, I never come to Liberty. These highways and intersections are all jammed over here. While I'm thinking about it, uh, if you guys are new here, a subscription would be fabulous. I'm at 251 right now. So I've been as high as 253, and then I put out my last video. It dropped down to 251. That's always good when you put a video out and it drops a few. <laughs> oh, yeah, the YouTube. That is a funny thing about YouTube. Never know see those numbers jump up and down pretty consistent you know but my channel just wasn't right for somebody I guess imagine that such is life but a subscription would be really appreciated guys I'd sure like to grow my channel another you know double it up here and get to 500 up to a thousand we'll see no big YouTube aspirations or anything, but I'd like to share my videos with more people for sure. A couple of Dotsons out for a walk with their, their mama. Another bike over there. A little easier going this way than it was back the other way. It's actually a little bit of a crosswind, but it's coming from my right now. I'm a little with it and a little bit from the right. It's just gusty, man, that is gusty. Kind of an eerie feeling when you feel those wind gusts hitting you. Makes you want to slow down quick. Crazy thing, I saw OJ passed away here a couple days ago. That is one crazy case. All the DNA evidence and, and to have a jury unanimously acquit him. I think what they really did was acquit, acquit him because of the racists in the police department after that Rodney King jury uh, acquittal. I think that's what happened. I think it was payback against that police department for that other acquittal. Awful lot of 
OJ's blood mixed in with his wife's and Goldman's blood. That's crazy. Lots of blood evidence, a little bit of everywhere. Clothing on the ground, on the on his car. That's crazy. Pretty interesting stuff though. I wonder if they're gonna get their settlement now. They're originally it was a $33 million settlement in the in the civil trial against OJ. And uh, he hasn't paid him a nickel. And it's been how long? 25 years. I think they said it's 90 million with interest now. Going to be a whole lot of lawsuits over that money. Crazy stuff, guys. Yeah, this little highway is 55 miles an hour, so one lane each way. I think for the whole distance that I know that it runs, too, it does. It never goes into, other than going through a town where they'll add a lane on each side, but I think it's pretty much just two lane highway. a big neighborhood on my right over here that thing stretches for a couple miles here in one little area man I smell the flowers on those trees back there wow that smells good I love spring we got all our flowers planted flowers are doing great it's those uh, chili pepper plants that my wife's planted she's planted what is it five of them and one of them died the first couple days a second one is barely hanging on looks like it's gone too and then the other three are doing good but they were bigger i guess that's what we're gonna have to do we're just gonna have to plant some bigger plants something that's a little more established already the two little ones died and we've got one little one that's still there but I haven't let them get dry, so maybe they just want it drier. I don't know. I'm not soaking them either, though. So I think they're just being pretty particular right now. Just past 435 here. Now it goes down to the two lanes that head right to my neighborhood. Road's in pretty good shape here. A couple of decent bumps, but that's about it. Man, that wind is just shifting around. Now it's blowing from the left. All the flags, yeah, all the flags are straight out here to the right, to my right. Anybody has any ideas for videos? You guys let me know what you want to see. I'm going to keep uh, cruising around my city here. and I might go explore a little further next week. Take me an hour each direction or something. But uh, all right, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Um, leave a like if you like the video and uh, subscribe if you're new here. Guys, I appreciate you watching. All right, I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.